Hi, I'm Laura McGath from the Apold Planetarium at Lourdes University. Now, most of us aren't traveling much these days, but we do have some space missions with awesome destinations. Let's take off and see where our robotic explorers are heading. And our first stop is Mars. Three spacecraft will reach Mars in the next few weeks. First to arrive will be the Al Amal, or Hope, spacecraft from the United Arab Emirates. This will be the Arab world's first interplanetary mission. Al Amal will spend two years monitoring weather and the disappearing Martian atmosphere. China is sending its first mission to Mars, Tianwen-1. The spacecraft will orbit Mars for months before sending a rover to the surface to map minerals and search for water below the surface. If Tianwen-1 succeeds, China will become the third country to land a craft on Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover will arrive at Mars on February 18th. Like the last rover, Curiosity, it will use a multi-stage landing program to reach the surface. Once on the ground, Perseverance has a lot of tools to use, including 23 cameras and multiple microphones. It carries instruments for analyzing the climate and Martian dust, so we can prepare better habitats for humans on Mars. It has a radar for detecting subsurface water and an exciting new tool, MOXIE, for testing a new system of extracting breathable oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. Like the rovers before it, Perseverance is a robotic rockhound. Described as one of the most complex robotics systems ever built, Perseverance will collect core samples and then seal them in special tubes for eventual return to Earth. The Perseverance rover carries a passenger a drone named Ingenuity. This will be the first helicopter to fly on another planet. The solar panel on top charges a battery, which is equivalent to three smartphone batteries. Only a third of its energy will be used for flight. Most of the energy will be needed to keep the electronics warm during the bitter Martian night. Since the atmosphere on Mars is only 1% of Earth's, those blades will spin 40 times per second five times faster than helicopters here. The entire drone weighs less than four pounds. Ingenuity can't be flown like drones here on Earth because Mars is so far away. A message from Earth to Mars may take 20 minutes or longer, too slowly to control a flying drone. Ingenuity has to work autonomously. Its flights will last up to 90 seconds. So think of this as hopping rather than soaring over Mars. Another popular destination this year is the Moon. In March, the Indian Space Research Organization will launch its third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3. Back in 2008, one of India's first measured missions was Chandrayaan-1. That orbiter and a surface probe confirmed evidence of water on the Moon. Chandrayaan-3's rover is planned to touch down in the Aitken Basin at the Moon's South Pole. The Aitken Basin is thought to have buried treasure, water ice. Apollo 17 astronauts Gene Cernan and Jack Schmidt were the last people to walk on the Moon in 1972. Now, NASA wants to go back to the Moon. The Artemis program aims to land a woman and a man on the moon by the year 2024. A big step toward this goal will be Artemis 1, scheduled to launch in November of 2021. No astronauts will be aboard this first Artemis flight, rather it's a test of the world's biggest rocket. The rocket is named the Space Launch System, or SLS, and is designed to be powerful enough to carry people and all their luggage to Mars. Maybe it should really be called the Seriously Large System? Artemis will have a three-week flight. First, it will circle around the Earth once. Then, it will head to the Moon, 
looping around the moon twice before returning. Artemis will reach a distance of 280,000 miles from Earth, which is farther than any other human mission has ever flown. On January 16th, the SLS rocket was tested. All four engines were fired at once. The plan was to run the engines for eight minutes, which is how long they'd need to fire during the Artemis 1 launch. Unfortunately, after just one minute, the automated safety systems were triggered and the engines were shut down to avoid damage. It turns out the problem wasn't a big one, but there is a chance that this will delay the launch of Artemis 1 beyond 2021. These stunning pictures were taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Soon, Hubble will have some competition. Competition from the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short. JWST's mirrors are far bigger than Hubble's which will allow it to see even more distant objects and at higher resolution. Another difference is the kind of light collected. Hubble primarily uses visible light, but the James Webb Telescope will use infrared. Light from distant objects is redshifted, plus infrared light can more easily pass through clouds of dust. The picture on the left, taken in visible light, is pretty but the infrared picture on the right reveals far more stars. The James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to launch on Halloween of 2021. It was initially scheduled to launch 14 years ago, so after so many delays, astronomers are tickled to be finally this close to launching the next great observatory. We're going to learn a lot from all of these missions, and there may even be some surprises in store for us as well. We'll keep you updated at the Apple Planetarium where there's space to explore. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you under the stars again.